Good morning everybody, my name is Samuel and uh, through my videos and tutorials on YouTube and LinkedIn, I try my best to essentially educate the youth on essential skills on AWS, data engineering and much more. This video I'll be showing you about Athena. So the, the ask here is essentially you have a table on Athena. What we want to do is we want to create a new table, an efficient table, an optimized table, right? So basically we're going to create a, an optimized table. Uh, with the file format of Parquet, right? So we're gonna load the data from the previous to this table. We're gonna create an amazing partition, right? And then I'll also show you how you can insert item into that the new efficient table using Athena C task query. Uh, a very nice demo and a lab, so I encourage you to try this out with me. So let's get started. All right, so I'll be performing my uh, exercise here. So. I have this query and again, the lab, the lab sections or the links are here. So one thing, uh, remember there will be a cost associated because, uh, you know, Athena, you know, when you load like 20, 30 GB, it's gonna cost you, right? So uh, just do keep that in mind. So what I'm doing here is essentially, I'm creating an external table uh, called original CSV. So this is my, uh, again, so let me just run this and then I'll talk a little bit about that. So I have a CSV file or essentially an Athena table that is already existing there, right? This table contains all the data and as you can see, it's not optimized at all. There are no partitions. Uh, there are no sort of partitions here, right? There is one though. Uh, there is one, oh yeah, there is no partition. It's in the report one, my bad. So yeah, there is no partition on this table, right? What is our goal as a data engineer is basically we wanna create an optimized table we want to take all these files and convert them into a parquet and compress them. Why? Because you can save up to 60% on the cost on Athena and also literally 30 to 40% boost in performance, essentially the speed. So uh, what we're going to do is first of all, uh, we know that we have this table called original CSV, right? Now let's, let's, let's see what this article says. So now what this is doing is, and again, I'll copy this and I'll do this with you, right? So, now we'll uh, put this here. So now here we are creating a new table called new parquet. This table is not there on the S3, right? Now, if you observe format as parquet, we are compressing the files as snappy. We are also essentially partitioning this by a year. So I can efficiently select the data for 2019, 2020, 2021, etc. Uh, external location is essentially where you wanna save these files. So I'll uh, essentially try to put my S3 location here. So now if you observe, and I'll put this in a table called new parquet again, as I said, right? Now these are the columns that I'm selecting, right? Now, if you observe, as I said in my last video, if you wanna create partitions on from an existing table, make sure when you select a query, the, the column is at the end, this is a rule, okay? So now what we're doing here is essentially we are selecting these columns, right? Uh, basically we are selecting these columns and if you observe from original CSV and here I'm inserting data from 2015 to 2019. So the year for, let's say for data analysis, I'm essentially selecting this data. Uh, if you can uh, see, let me, let me try to use a magnifier as well. Uh, and I know people are watching from the phone. So here, right, uh, we are essentially uh, saying that, hey, everything greater than 2015, and if you observe 2019, right? So what this is gonna do is this is gonna create a new table and insert all the data there from my condition met and the files are gonna be parquet for my efficient query purposes. So I run this, uh, should be done in a couple of seconds, as I said. So scanned 8 GB so far, 9 GB, 10 GB. 10.72 GB, 11 GB. Again, this will take a little time. You gotta just be patient. There's a lot of data that's gonna be scanned, okay? And hence I said, if you're gonna do this, there will be a cost associated, maybe like a four or five dollars now, but just keep that in mind, okay? So what you observe is this table is created, right? Now it says the word partitioned, which means if I scroll down, there's a partition called here. Let's see S3, right? What, what happened on S3, let's, let's see. So if you observe new parquet, look at this, year is equal to, month is equal to, these are the folders now. So now inside there, of course, you have a parquet file, which are much more efficient, right, for query purposes. So as you can see, right, now we have this new table called new parquet, right? Now, as data keeps going into this original, you know, these are like, you know, regular data that are being dumped on this file. Now, 
for your analytics purposes, you will use essentially this new parquet folder or table, right? Now say you want to load, now say after that you essentially load, uh, let's say 2015 or new data got loaded into original CSV. Now you want to load that data further into a, our efficient table, right? So now you could again use a CTAS query and insert statement. Uh, again, here they have demoed this pretty well. So I'll copy this and on here I'll again paste it. So now what you're saying is insert into new parquet. So we are saying that insert into this new efficient table that we just created. These are the columns, right? And from which table? We are saying from original CSV, right? And then we are saying uh, after or here I'm saying that, hey, load everything before 2015, right? So if I run this now, oops. Pre match expecting alter analyze uh, commit create deallocating delete descending hold on I think uh, I think I already ran this hence I <laughs> I have a problem here so let me see yeah I mean should should work ideally you know th th there might be a typo somewhere so I'm not sure where exactly that is because I I did try this lab before so I know the fact that it, it works yeah I think it, it's working now maybe. Uh, not sure what happened there but uh, so yeah what this will do is now it is running so now it's gonna take the data from my original csv uh, the, all the data before 2015 and it's gonna load the data in my new efficient table for query purposes right uh, of course this might take a while i don't know how long it will take but uh, so now your analytics could be on the, this yeah it's complete now so now if i go to my s3 here there you go see efficiently added all these partition right so what you learned is in this video, what did, you, what did you learn? You learned essentially the important skills for data, right? If you have Athena tables and if you want to perform analytics, right? You might want to essentially create a new table with parquet, with compression, and then keep loading data there. Because as I said, right, uh, you will have, so, you know, when you do an ETL, you'll have a raw zone, uh, you know, where you have your all your data, then you then you will extract, load, and transform, and clean the data, and then dump it into the uh, the next uh, zone, right? So essentially, we're doing that, right? Original was our raw, consider it as a raw. We perform certain items, we clean the data, we created a new table, efficient table, we compressed it, we changed the file format so that we could efficiently now query this data. Right? So I hope this video was useful. I'll leave uh, the links for. Athena Cetas in the uh, description section below. I have a lot of tutorials on Athena, so do check them out. And I hope you guys are enjoying this fun, amazing tutorials. With that being said, if you have any more questions, list your question in the comments. I'll be very happy to answer uh, during my free time. With that being said, as I said, right? Knowledge is power. Keep learning, keep smiling, and I'll see you guys next time.